today I'm working on a specific art exercise. This is a watercolor page. So if you're following along, you're going to need markers, watercolor paper, spray bottles, and ink. So I have my container here of materials. I have color pencils. I have lots of colorful markers. So I'm just going to start off by messing up my page good and proper. all over because if you don't make a mess there's nothing to clean up so I'm just gonna fill in some of these spaces with purple so I've got my leaves and so you want to take your leaves and you want to place them spaced out on your page as interestingly as you can you want to save some leaves for the second round so these are where I'm placing mine here for now you're gonna take your tape your and you're going to fold it and just stick it behind your leaf right here so now I want to get my rubbing alcohol I have the 90 percent and I have 70 percent is this yeah so the 90% is what I really want to use. So since I'm live, I'm going to use the good stuff. I have India ink, black and red. And I have two spray bottles. So I'm putting some alcohol in the bottle. So I take a little drop of my black Indian ink. And I'm going to mix it in to my bottle here. So what I want to do is just spray my ink over the surface of my entire paper here. So the more you spray, the darker the color will be. Some of these leaves weren't quite stuck down, but some of them were blocking. So I'm interested to see what's the difference between the two, especially this Moringa seed. So now is the time where I'm going to take off my first set of leaves. Wow. See? Wow, I, I really like this here. So what I was planning for was that the, the colors underneath to really shine forward. I, I'm going to spray over the white even though I like it so much. Sometimes, you know, you just keep going to see how far you could really take the design. And not only that, you know, I could always do this a second time if I like it. And I'm just going to take the leaves that I used already and I'm going to reattach them and with that second layer so I have some more leaves to use here I'm going to use a different color so what we're going to see come up is even more texture even more color even more color mixing and you know shapes will appear that we can't really plan for which is the nice part of this sort of stenciling is that it's very organic so like some of the white areas that I like I'm gonna recover them. Same steps here. I'm gonna take my rubbing alcohol. And then it's the same process. We spray it all about. So I'm gonna remove every single one of them. Now the red and the black, the red is not as intense as you would want it, I guess. Over the black, it's really nice on the leaves. But I'm really liking it as I clear it out. And I'm going to hold up my art. So, yeah. Let me know what y'all think. So this is really... I mean, I think it does tell a story and I, I hope it tells that story of redemption. You know, where we came from at the beginning of this piece, it really does look different. It's a kind of a transformation. And I think it's pretty powerful in my opinion. Also, this apron is available locally if anybody is trying to get into the artistic side, if they're interested in following along. It's nice to have a apron and support um i have pencil cases i have artist pencil cases 
keep watching like blooms art follow share the page share the videos thank you so much guys for coming up i appreciate it follow me on instagram follow me on youtube make sure to go on the website and just scroll about and see what's up there right thank you very much so i'm going to come off now i really appreciated it bye